Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today we're going to be showing you the brand new MSI GE60 and GE70 units. We'll be covering both the laptops in a fair amount of detail, starting with a simple unboxing, and then moving forward into reviewing the unit itself, and then in closing we'll be doing some minor disassembly to show you the system's internal components. For those looking at MSI for the first time, the way that the model line works is that the GT series is the flagship model and the GE series is the economical version of that. So it's a little bit cheaper for a little bit less hardware, but still capable of performing some light gaming duty. As for receiving your unit, you will be getting everything shipped to you in a double box. The outside box prevents a lot of the damage to the inside box, which is where everything is kept safe. The laptop is packed with cardboard wings on the outside and this prevents it from getting moved around and receiving shock damage, while the plastic and cloth covering over the laptop prevent any kind of scratch damage. As for the rest of the accessories you'll find in the box, we're going to have the standard affair bag of disc for drivers, the warranty information and product manuals. This is the laptop's external battery. And finally on the left hand side you're going to find the power adapter. Now we have both units unboxed with the GE60 on the left, which is the 15.6 inch version, and the GE70 on the right, which is the 17 inch version. One of the new features updated to the GE series this time around is that it has been given the full multicolored LED backlit keyboard, which is handed down from the higher end GT series. Normally it only comes with a single color keyboard, so this is a free added benefit to the newer model. One minor difference to note, however, is that the GE60 is still using the older software from the last generation of the GT laptops for controlling the keyboard and its color settings, while the GE70 is using the newer version of the software that does all of the prior but also enables you to program the keyboard with macro commands. We have covered this new software with a little bit more detail on the new updated GT70 review. So if you're interested in seeing more features of that, you can check out that review as well. Now continuing with the first impressions of both of the units, the top-down view of the SteelSeries Gaming Keyboard, and of course you get the view of the brushed aluminum palm rest area, and all of the different sticker badges on each unit to advertise the different features and hardware. Your touchpad is a single touchpad with the left and right clicks embedded in the bottom corners rather than having dedicated left and right click buttons. Also in the front of the unit you're going to find your system status LEDs and of course this is the common reference area to look at things such as your hard drive activity, whether or not you have your Wi-Fi enabled, and other important system features. Moving back and forth from the GE70 to the GE60, you'll see that the keyboard and the touchpad are very much the same, just on a smaller frame for the laptop. Between the two, however, despite the larger screen size and the larger frame of the laptop, the overall thickness of both remains pretty much exactly the same. Now as we move forward in the review process, we'll show you all of the input and output interfaces on both laptops. 
Starting with the GE60 on the left hand side, you'll find that you have your Kenningston lock port, the DC power port, a ventilation slot, HDMI, two USB 3.0 ports, your microphone and headphone ports, and a card reader. Moving over to the GE70, you'll find that everything is exactly the same except for the fact they took advantage of the extra space and after the ventilation port they added a USB 2.0 slot right in front of the HDMI. Now moving to cover the other angles, we're looking at the GE60 first. Again, the front of the unit just simply has your status LEDs. There's not much to be seen here as far as interfaces. Over to the right hand side, however, you'll first find the optical drive, followed by a USB 2.0 port, then the 15 pin VGA port, and finally the RJ45 jack for your local networking. Now next to that, moving to the GE70, we'll see that the front of the unit is very much the same and very familiar to us. As we move to the right hand side, you'll see that once again they took advantage of the extra space and added an extra USB 2.0 port, first right in front of the optical drive before getting to the USB 2.0 port VGA and RJ45 right behind it. Now for the final angle to cover, which is the rear of the unit, we'll find the breast aluminum lids are both the same, except for the obvious difference in size between the two laptops. You have no input or output interfaces on the rear of the laptop. All that you'll spot is simply the removable system battery. Now we move into one of the most important parts of the review for those who are planning on purchasing a gaming laptop. And that of course is all of the gaming performance benchmarks. We're running both of these benchmarks with the turbo fan feature enabled. So that's going to force our fans to a high speed to give us the best cooling possible. Both the GE60 and the GE70 are featuring the same video card, which is the NVIDIA GTX 860 Mobile. And so the results are in, and we'll go ahead and take a closer look at those results and explain them to you. Starting with the benchmark itself, we ran 3 Mark 11, and we managed to get a performance score of 5,185. As you can see, the hardware used is the NVIDIA GTX 860 Mobile. And here are the full details on that video card. Of course, in addition to just the gaming performance scores, we also always monitor our temperatures during those tests. Here we're seeing that the temperatures are within normal limits. However, they are warmer than what we find compared to similar gaming laptops. Now moving over to the GE70, you can of course expect similar scores since we're running the same hardware. Here we managed to get a performance score of 5,289 and down below, of course, GPU-Z is going to show us the same information as before on the GTX 860 mobile video card. Now as far as the GE70 cooling, it looks like our CPU temperatures remained more or less the same as before. However, on the GPU, it came in about 10 degrees cooler. This isn't totally uncommon as usually 17-inch laptops can outperform their 15-inch smaller brothers when it comes to cooling performance. Now it's time for us to move into our final segment of the review and that's going to be the minor disassembly of both of these units. As you can see on the bottom side we do have openings for cooling and also for speakers underneath of the laptops. We also managed to spot a warning sticker on the bottom that let us know that if you open this unit up you would be indeed voiding your warranty. One thing to note about the warranty sticker though is the placement of both the GE60 and GE70 in our case was in a place that you can remove the system bay door without actually damaging the sticker and thus not voiding the warranty.
After removing a few screws, you get access to the internal system components by removing the large bay door. The GE series does offer you a few opportunities for upgrade, but not as much as some of the other gaming laptops. Your system RAM slots are already taken here, so you're left with no room to upgrade the RAM. The CPU is also soldered onto the motherboard, so there's no way to remove that and exchange it as well. But we do see that we have an open micro SATA SSD slot, so you could add a solid state disk to the laptop. And of course, you can always remove the 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive if you wanted to upgrade that to a larger and faster one or into a solid state disk. Since most users really wouldn't want to deal with the hassle of removing a hard drive and cloning it over to a new one, the GE series is one of those situations where you might want to take advantage of our customized ordering process. If you choose to do your upgrades at the time of ordering, we can actually perform all the upgrades for you and then cover those upgrades under your warranty. Now, as we're comparing two laptops that are so similar in hardware, of course, one of the few differences to be found is the size and weight. Here we're weighing in the GE60 by itself, and it comes in at 5 pounds and 4 ounces. If you're also going to throw in the power charger and take that with you, then your total carry weight would be 6 pounds and 10 ounces. Now to weigh in the GE70, as you can see, ironically enough, the weight of the laptop alone is 6 pounds and 10 ounces, which is the total combined weight of the GE60 plus the charger. So of course you can expect a little bit of extra weight when adding the charger to the GE70, and that's going to give you a little bit more total combined carrying weight. In this case, once we've added the charger on, it brought us up to 8 pounds, almost exactly even. In both cases, the GE60 and GE70 are quite light for laptops, and you really won't have too much trouble carrying them around. So the main difference between them to decide which you would rather have is going to be mostly whether or not you want the larger 17-inch screen and also that updated software for the macro programming of the keyboard keys. We also saw that the GE70 did slightly better with the cooling of everything. However, with both systems still using only a single fan cooling system, neither are going to perform incredibly high compared to high-end gaming laptops that use dual fan cooling systems. And so that's going to bring us to the end of our updated review for the MSI GE60 and GE70. We found both laptops have a place because they are not as expensive as the high-end gaming laptops, but still give some gaming flexibility for those who like to do it casually. If you would like more information on these laptops, then go ahead and check out the product pages on our website, gentechpc.com, and there we do have the full product specifications and, of course, the current pricing and availability. If at any time you have questions that you need assistance with, then feel free to contact us by phone or email, and we'll do our best to help you out. And in closing, we just want to remind everybody that once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.